Hello, YouTubers. Hello, friends of Earth. This is Pasha. Welcome to my abode. So I wanted to express a serial trick that I've picked up. Perhaps it's widely known, but it's new to me. Uh, it's something that I've created myself, at least or so I think. But uh, it's about eating healthy. So as you can see in front of me uh, are two brands of cereal. I've, uh, without using a, a stick or a tripod, I'm just carrying with my hand, using my hand right now. And so hands are washed and clean. I've got a giant size Captain Crunch box here. I've already taken the package out of the box and cut the little edge off. Same thing here with the Kashi Go flakes and clusters, maple brown sugar. Kashi is a really great cereal for any newcomers out there who are not familiar with it. Uh, it's from the east, uh, Japan perhaps, uh, but I could be mistaken. We know Ameri uh, America is uh, the founder of Captain Crunch, I think perhaps General Mills. And uh, all you need to do is get one of these kind of Rubbermaid tubs, uh, any one of your size or choosing, and you fill it with a combination of different cereals. As a child, I had a father as a dentist and he absolutely forbade myself and my sibling from eating any type of sugar cereal whatsoever. So you could imagine the desire when the opportunity was there at other people's homes, sleepovers, this kind of thing. So I've always had a, a special place in my heart for Captain Crunch. I, I know uh, there's a disclaimer that should come with Captain Crunch's don't eat more than really a bowl or two bowls at a time and let that milk soak in a bit. Otherwise your mouth will be so terribly raw. I've, uh, you know, through folly experienced that a few times. And so the idea though is to limit the amount of sugar cereal that you have, uh, especially in one sitting. And uh, if you can add fiber to that instead of just carb and sugar, it's a better choice. And interestingly, the flavors that come out are really a lot of fun. Uh, and you can continue to add layers of flavor. So I don't throw out or finish the bottom of the box. Uh, and it sort of creates its own accumulation of uh, flavors that are there. So last batch around, it was, uh, I was trying to have a little bit of Captain Crunch. Uh, there was pure granola with almonds and golden puffs, uh, the uh, puff puffs. Uh, and there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in pretty much the whole, but in two increments, this whole smaller box of Kashi cereal. And get some fiber and grain in there. And then some Captain Crunch, kind of layer it on. And I'm gonna stop at the store and pick up some other cereals as well. So I don't want too much Captain Crunch in there. Uh, I think healthier if you're, if it's just a, a little bit. So if we can pour the rest of this whole thing in. I wouldn't use Raisin Bran on this batch because this Kashi flakes and clusters, high in protein and such is a little bit similar though. But if you wanted to add some raw, raw raisins, uh, on your own, uh, it would be a great idea. Uh, so you can start to see the stratification that's happening there. And I'll put the lid back on, maybe just for fun, for everybody out there, a little bit more crunch, right? Okay, that's plenty. And we get the lid on, close the top, and just uh, agitate it a little bit. So here you essentially have a semi-mixed batch of varying cereals. I think you are going to love this, every, uh, everyone out there. So go ahead and, and it keeps it fresh, of course. Give it a try. Go out there. Uh, even the 99 cent store won't, won't do you wrong. You know, uh, in fact, this is where I, I found these at the, the dollar store. And these are 
expensive, you know, $5, $6 for the small box. It's considered maybe a specialty cereal. Uh, the junk food ones in the big size will cost you as well, but uh, I'd recommend try to stay away from that. You know, find your preferred sugar cereal and then get three or four cereals that you know are good for you and you don't quite like them as much. Mix them together with with your preferred cereal and uh, and then utilize soy milks if possible, opposed to whole milks. Uh, I myself am fond of almond breeze and I try to go for the very low calorie, 30 calorie unsweetened vanilla, something like this. But jazz it up however you want, folks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, it was fun for me. Bye-bye.